Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Cake PHP version 4 Strawberry on Windows 10 here. So first of all, you have to install SAM into your computer. Let's go to cakephp.org and click on Docs. So and then click on uh, Installation in Get Started. And then if you install SAM, you have to config SAM. So let's open SAM and go to config and then go to HP INT, INI, sorry. And then you have to copy this line of code, which is extension php underscore intl dot ddl, copy it. And over here, and then scroll down to the button of the files and paste extension equal php underscore int dot ddl over here. So save this and close and then open SAM again and start. Start the Apache and MySQL. So in order to use SAM, you need to install PHP, right? So let's go to our command pump. Then we are going to type php-v to check the PHP version. We use PHP version 7.4.1. This is okay. And you have to install Composer to in order to use SAM. Then you go to google.com and then type uh, Composer and click on Composer and download here so and click on download and run so you have to uh, install this composer into your computer so after you install you can check the version of the composer so you go to command prompt again and then you type uh, composer v so if it show the information like this, Composer version 1.1, is this okay? And then you go to SAM directory, I mean C drive and SAM, and go to htdocs. We will install cakephp in this folder. So just copy this directory, this path, and open command prompt again and type cd and paste the path c drive sam htdocs and hit enter and then go back to the cake php documentation and you will see this line of code create a php cake project just copy this line of code copy it and paste it over here so for our projects i will name is to like dev Tamin. So you can name it whatever you want. So when you put devtamin, it will create a devtamin folder for you. So hit enter and then com and hit enter and then composer view download a uh, cake PHP for you. It will take for a while, guys. And then it will ask you to set folder permission. Just type Y and hit enter. Okay, then go to uh, and then type cd uh, dev to mean to access to our project folder and then access to bin folder and you can type ls to list. No, it doesn't work. And then you can type a dir to list all file. So we will run cake, the files cake 
So we type cake. And then there's a lot of commands that you can use over here. But the commands that we need to use to run a cake server is cake server. Hit enter. Now cake server is running on this uh, port number and URI. You can copy this URI and then you paste it over here and hit enter. See? See, the cake project is installed completely. So how to connect cake with database? So let's go to my SQL uh, localhost PSP my admin and create a new database. So I will name it K uh, Dev Tamin, and I click on create. So we have a database name Dev Tamin. Uh, then we go to Dev Tamin project this path. So we right click, we open Git Bash. You have to install Git. So then you type our code to open a Visual Studio code. And in Visual Studio code, you can access to config and then go to app local and scroll down to data source and then I'm going to put uh, the username for my SQL so I use root and passwords I don't have passwords for my SQL and for database I specify this database so I put deftamine and I save the app underscore local.php and then I go back to localhost port 8765 and after I refresh this page database will become green so I refresh enter so cake PHP is able to connect to database right now alright this is all about how to install cake PHP on window if you have any question feel free to comment also don't forget to click subscribe on my channel so you will get the new video about programming language